Wow. Uh, wow, 80 crafting. Yo, 82 craft. Uh, it's over. I can make furies for the team if I get a boost now. 85 crafting. Shout out to teammate Wedges for supplying all the chaos runes to get us these onyxes. Uh, none of us actually have the mage level to enchant these, so we're just going to stick them in the group storage until the foreseeable future. I'm sure Wedges will be getting some barrage tasks done soon though. Today's video is proudly sponsored by Audible. Times are strange, gamers, but we do have books, or if you're like me and you have the attention span of a goldfish, you may be interested in exploring the world of audiobooks with me. If you're a RuneScape player like me, you'll know that there's so much to do in the game and so much grinding. Multitasking is not my forte and I'm unable to watch movies and shows whilst I play the game. With audiobooks and RuneScape, I found the perfect match. With Audible, you can find a huge selection of audiobooks. They have bestsellers on their comedy, business, and you can even learn a language through Audible. It is difficult to argue with a mathematical theorem, so in the end, Lifshitz and Kalatnikov conceded that the universe should have a beginning. With my Audible Premium membership, I have been inspired by the writing of Stephen Hawking. I learned a fair bit about space and time while getting my Lover King favour. Well, hello there, computer dater. Please enjoy my audiobook. All Audible members get one credit every month, which is good for any title in their entire library. New members can also try Audible for free for 30 days. Secure your Audible Premium now by going to www.audible.com forward slash guns chili. Or you can even text guns chili to 5 500 500. Thanks again to Audible for sponsoring this video. I'd like to set out some achievable goals for this episode, but instead of the three goals being the focal point of my personal account, they will be spread between myself and my two other teammates. Goal number one is for Wedges, he is the Sugar Puppy and the Slayer Kingpin. Dan's focus as of the new year will be to obtain us big ticket Slayer items, starting out with the Abyssal Whip. Goal number two is for Tukun. Tukun has been feeding off Wedges' cash stack for the past month, getting requirements for Song of the Elves. His goal is to complete Song of the Elves with a low combat level and access prep dinner so that he can join Wedges in the upper echelons of coinage. Goal number three lies with me and is where we start off now. I'll be attempting a Mage Arena 2 cape and focusing on clue scrolls for important items for the team. Yo, GM, it's 7.30 in the morning on a Tuesday. The wilderness should be fairly quiet around this time. A lot of the Mage Bank and Deep Wild PKs are actually content creators themselves. One in particular called Eliop, he's pretty well known for Mage Bank PKing. He does something called Mage Bank Monday, so I figured the best time to do this would be on a Tuesday, and hopefully while he's asleep. Let's go, Major Arena 1 cape done. I've got to do like a hundred casts of each spell in the arena now, which won't be fun. <laughs> oh boy, it's finger hover over log out button time. I need to scout each Major Arena 2 boss in the deep wild now. It is vital that I do not come into contact with any PK or any PKing team. I don't have bruise on this account and the Major Arena 2 bosses are fairly powerful. Each boss roams the wilderness, I have to go and find them using a locator orb which damages me along the way. I can only damage them using the spells that I learnt from the Major Arena and all three bosses are likely to be in a multi-combat area. This could go horrendously wrong and I could lose a life for my team, however, it's a Tuesday morning and the wilderness is dead. Okay, I found the location of the Sarah Wizard. Sadly, he's in multi-combat by the Rune Rock, which is also near the KBD area, which is a fairly popular place to PK. Right, the Guthics Wizard is conveniently located right next to Callisto. I don't want to get hit by that, so I'm going to go bank and restock. My god, I'm not good on supplies. I have like nothing. And the what? Why is the chaos early? Oh my god. Okay, I think I'm out. Let's go. I've got all three items. I have the root, the heart, and I got the hand. Imagine if I die on the way back to the mage arena with all the items. That would just be so bad. I've done the hard bit. Just got to deliver them now. Let's go. Look at that. Oh boy. Yes! Alright, I'm done with the cape, but I'm not done with the wilderness. I have all these lantern lenses from crafting and they sell for 7 GP each in the wilderness general store. 
As I'm here, I thought I would get my 85 Hunter and my 1600 total level by catching a black chin. Fish in a tube has reached a ranged level of 70. It's time to talk about the fourth account. Welcome to Yeah Course 2's Cannonball Alt Fish in a Tube. If you watched my last video, you will know that my teammate Grant burnt out and I have since taken over the account. I am still 100% unsure on what I will do with this account. However, I've been making some pretty decent progress. The first thing I did was sort out his horrendous haircut. I went to my favorite place in the game and managed to get full rogues on the account as well as 80 thieving. I had some serious glass to blow on the main, so I put in all my decent equipment into the group storage and I started doing some big quests on the account. I finished up Family Crest to get some goldsmith gauntlets, I went to the blast furnace and got myself 50 smithing. There's no way that I am about to die, oh my god, please no, I've- oh, that's so lucky. You heard it here first, Legends Quest is more scary than doing a major in a 2 cape in the deep wild. I cooked up a creme brulee for Sir Amic Vaz and I defeated the colour romancer in his special dimension. After getting Barrow's Gloves recently on one GM, I've just gone and done it again. Uh, it's the second pair of Barrow's Gloves I got this month. Trying to view birdhouses, let's go. Oh, 74 HP, and I think Slayer as well. Spiritual ranges are crap. Uh, I have to block those when I get them right. 11. This, uh, this is clue number 12. Uh, let's see what we get. Finally, a magic short bow. I have not, uh, we have been waiting for that for a long time. I will be using this for like Lizard and Shamers, I think, if I imbue it. I got Black Mask, cool. Here's a cool farming efficiency tip. If you click that and then click that really fast. You see that? Look, I'm doing both at the same time. Wow. I've been doing Slayer without tank legs, so let's see if we can get them 1kc. We do not. Uh, I would like some tank legs from Barrows because um, I don't really have any for Slayer. Oh, that's nice. Carol Skirt 2kc. Well, my teammate Wedges is 80 Slayer, and now I have a new job to do. There's an item on RuneScape called a Wild Pie. It boosts your Slayer by 5 levels. It's a little bit tricky to cook, though. You need 85 cooking, and you also need to have raw chompies to cook it. I fished up about 8,000 Carambons here, and I'm going to be cooking them now. By the time I finish cooking them, I should have 85 cooking, and I will be able to make some Wild Pies for my teammate, who will then get us Abyssal Whips. Ooh! Torax Plate Body, let's go. Eee, look at that! Yes! Dusk! <gasps> no way! I, I just got an Aram's Robe Skirt. Oh my god! Oh my god, that is a double chest. <gasps> no way! <laughs> There's no way! Dan has 70 prayer, 100 combat, and the Mauritania diary done, so he was able to get a fair amount of runes from doing barrows, but no tank legs for me. Get off me, you goblin! Ah, uh, this is awkward. I just started doing this clue, and this guy just hopped and starts mining. He's in, like, PK gear. I'm just gonna slowly pick up the clue and run away. There we go, it's all gonna be fine. Agony. I've done all these there a favor. I want to get uh, the Karend and Kebos hard diary done. Chapter 7. Ava Kim approached, nodded to Gal, leaned over to whisper. 70 mining, let's go! Alright, that is the Karend and Kevos diary done. The main reason I wanted to do this diary was for the Ash Sanctifier and also so that I can use a Slayer helmet whilst I kill Lizardman Shaman instead of having to use the Shazian helmet. The Ash Sanctifier is amazing because it gives you passive prayer XP, it scatters ashes for you while on Slayer tasks, and the Slayer helmet will be great bonus damage against Lizardman Shamans. Ooh. Oh, it's pretty good. I just got 181 spiritual creatures and I don't have slayer points to skip. Okay, I just Toriel skipped and my 10th task is worms. That's pretty good. Wedges has put a set of rune boots in the chest for me. He's now 80 slayer, so he will be boosting to get us whips fairly shortly. <sighs> what would I do without my teammate Wedges? He's just gone and put in 580k 
in the chest for me so that I can get some construction levels and get myself some portals in my player around house. And that is 50 construction there. I can now put portals in my house and I'm also now 1650 total. Wedges has been very nice to me recently. So I've made him a load of these bracelets where you can skip Slayer tasks and extend Slayer tasks. Hopefully he enjoys them. All right, next clue we are going to, oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah. Right, what's in the casket? Oh, it's terrible. Actually, no, not a teleports are all right. Can we get a better view? Yo. Of course. Hey, 35 tasks done. I got dragons. Well, cool. Let's uh, do the hard clue. Let's not do the hard clue. <laughs> well, I actually did do the hard clue. I just told my Twitch chat I wouldn't be doing that clue. As I didn't want to get stream sniped in Deep Wild. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. That is the best clue I've had ever. All right, nice and safe. Here we go. What the? Okay, the first portal I am installing is going to be the Barrows portal. I had to boost my mage to get this. Wedges has a Dagonoth King's task. We have a load of Barrows equipment and both Toucan and I are now 70 range mage and defense. So we're thinking we go and assist Wedges on his Dagonoth King's task and we go and kill some DKs. <laughs> Would you look at us? Look at this gear we're rocking. I actually think we're over prepared for this and that we probably could have done this a long time ago. All right, gamers, let's go get some rings. You guys use an eagle eye? I'm no. clicking, yeah. Can I reach that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have some Cadbury Buffin from my selection pack. <laughs> <sighs> Shut up! <laughs> We're in the face of death, and you're just like, cool, cap these buttons. Send me on range. Thank you. <laughs> I, I just nice. heard the same read. Is it actually? Yeah. There's a lot of 1 in 1 2 8 drops. Oh, oh fucking well, god. Some... You said earlier, oh, we've not even had spine chaps yet. That's the same That's... rate, innit? Guys, we've we got the elite got... clue step done. And here you can see three tooth half of keys back to back to back. Honestly, I think this is probably more ballsy than doing Major Arena 2, just because I've not done Zora in a while, but I should be okay. Oh no. What am I doing? Okay. Uh, what? It maged as well? <gasps> Did I just get chanced? It maged there on the green phase. Okay, upon further inspection, I would have been fine. I had 26 HP left, so it could have hit a 40, but that was cutting it close. Nah, you're right, mate. No, no thanks. Okay, it's done. I didn't really need to do this so soon, but uh, as I was killing chompies for wedges, uh, wild pies, I thought I may as well do some of the Western Diary tasks. I have my first Lizardman task. Love to see it. As I have a magic short bow imbued, Wedges has provided me with some rune arrows that he got from dust devils that I can go and fire. Alright, this is huge. I can now use my Slayer Helm as a Shazian Helm. So I'm protected against the poison and I can hit extra damage. I don't want to know how rare that use it is, but that is the Lizardman task done. It was actually a lot easier than I thought to do and I made a lot of money in Alk, so I would like to get more of those. Fantastic, 70 slow from a bursting task. Also got ourselves 80 magic as well, which is a huge level. Been wanting to unlock this track for a while, but it involves going into Scorpius layer. Luckily we got out okay. Okay, I've prepped a lot of sand for the future Zenites that I'll be making for the team. For now I take a bit of a back seat and I make wild pies so that my friends can do dangerous activities. You know, I'm not burning as much as these as I thought. I should have about 100 here to give him. All right, we'll give him 29 for now, and hopefully he, he can get at least two whips with that. Um, Toucan's also delivered me some teak planks that he got from woodcutting for Song of the Elves. It's time to check how Wedges is doing at Abyssal Demons.
Oh my god. <gasps> yes, I got it! Let's go! There's the first whip for the GIM accounts. I got it! I got it! I got it! You haven't heard much from Toucan so far this video, but it's now time to see what he's been doing. Well, it's been a while coming, but we just got 70 smithing, and that was the last requirement I needed for Song of the Elves, so I guess we just jump straight into it and get going. Um, I'm going to only do it up till Seren, because I need to work out a bit of a game plan for Seren. I don't have the best mage level. Let's get the quest started. Right, ladies and gentlemen, the power oh my God, of quest helper. This is fucking stupid. <laughs> okay. Oh, a nature oh, Honestly, it's just stupid. Like, I, can't, I can't get my head around it. Like, that that is allowed. Oh, look, I did it. Yay. Well done, you're so smart. I'm really proud of you. Right, show me. Draw us a nice line oh to you. Oh, my good God. Another monumental dump before you yeah, course two. Hey, up. Get out. Get out. Bye. Get out. Okay, so I'm at Sarah now on my uh, gym. This is obviously my main. I've been trying some kills at first, and uh, they're kind of fluky. Like, I can get them, it's just very clutch. So, I think the play is to get 80 mage for Blood Burst and then uh, have another crack at it. I haven't had a go on the GIM yet, but I just. I kind of want to play it safe. Oh my god, I have my mic muted, but holy shit, my heart is pounding. Oh, we did it. That was my first attempt to fucking out. I'm shaking, bro. Ooh. Oh, on the bloody gym. Sick, right? Oh my god, there's so many sounds happening. Oh my god. No, 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 no. I can't believe I've just done that. I looked away for one second. <laughs> 